Hi there, Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. We've had some really good spring weather this year. It's been up in the 30s, and uh, the last couple of days the temperature has dropped quite a bit. Uh, we're at about 6 degrees today. Pretty cool. So today we're going to be working on my Weeping Willow Bonsai. Uh, we're going to repot it and we're going to do some pruning to the top. So it's grown since spring with nothing done to it other than I pruned the moss a little bit but that's been about it. So we'll start with repotting it. This tree didn't get repotted last year so it's been two years in this pot so it's time to repot. Uh, the best time to repot weeping willows is basically any time. <laughs> uh, the roots uh, fill the pots quite quickly. Uh, some people repot them twice a year. If you're getting a lot of root growth, a lot of top growth, the roots will fill the pot very quickly and you may have to repot twice a year. Um, because we keep the top of this tree quite pruned, the roots don't grow as fast as if you just let it grow, so you can repot it every two years is fine. So let's begin. We're going to get the tree out of the pot. Now this is the this will be the second year I've been growing this tree with a pot of water underneath it that keeps the soil and roots really wet all year round and the tree really likes that it's been growing really well with a constant supply of water and fertilizer so I have no idea what the roots are going to look like it has been uh, root pruned in previous years quite a few times so let's see what they've done let's get the tree out of the pot there we go and we'll take our pot away and have a look at the roots so you can see we the roots have filled the pot totally it's just a mat of roots everywhere We've got a lot of moss on top of the roots, so we're just going to remove that. And moss grows quite quickly when you have a pot of water underneath your tree. The soil stays moist. You have no problems growing moss. We'll keep the moss. We may put it back on top after. Got lots of roots, lots of surface roots. And now that the moss is removed, we can start gently raking out our roots. Now, willow roots are quite fine, so we'll do the best we can raking them out. They're pretty compacted in here. You can see that the willow roots are very fine and very matted. Uh, we do want to sort them out. We don't just want to prune the outsides and put it back with some fresh soil around it. We want to get all this old soil out of the roots. We want to check out our root structure and uh, you know, do the best we can to get a radial root spread on it, a nice flat root ball. So you are, as you're working on these fine roots, you're going to do a lot of tearing. However, willows root really easily. You can you know, almost do anything to the roots and the tree will recover very quickly not the easiest root combing that I've done. This is the soil is very wet and the roots are very matted. But we will get there. So I'm just gonna put the tree in some water and try and get rid of some of this soil. So that helped quite a bit washing it. You can see a lot more of what's going on. And go and we'll keep combing we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get rid of all our bottom roots too and the reason we get rid of our bottom roots is we want these radial roots to thicken up and supply the tree with nutrients we don't want these roots on the bottom they'll uh, 
they don't contribute to thickening up our surface roots at all. So we want our surface roots doing all the work so they will thicken up. We're getting down to the base of the of the cutting of our tree. And I'm gonna give it another wash. We're getting down to some of the woodier roots down here now. There was a lot of fine roots growing on top of them, which we'll keep. The more sur surface roots, the better. Now, if you don't comb out your roots, you'll have all these fine matted roots in here. And as they thicken up, they'll all fuse together. So instead of getting radial surface roots, you'll get this a plate of fused roots at the base of your tree which can look good on some trees like it naturally happens a lot with maples they get a fused uh, kind of plate at the base of the tree but in willows it generally doesn't happen so that's the reason we're trying to comb out all these matted areas I usually like it so you know the root rake runs through everything it does a lot of tearing, but it keeps the roots we want. And we're slowly getting there. We could almost run the root rake through everything. A few matted areas still, but we'll work on them. And you can reduce the roots on a willow almost to nothing. And you just grow it as a cutting again if you so don't worry about taking too much of the root mass off because it'll quickly recover okay so we've given the roots their final wash we'll do our our final comb out so you can see a lot of these matted sections get combed right out we are starting to get some nice surface roots that are thickening up and getting a little more woody. So let's do a little root pruning now. So we'll just go around the outer profile and trim off some of these roots. Okay, it's ready for planting. So next we're gonna clean the pot put our drainage screens in and put a small layer of bonsai soil on the bottom and then we'll position the tree. Okay, so it's time to put the tree in the pot. Uh, the pot it's in is just a plastic training pot. Uh, they call them mica pots. Uh, for training pots, they're ideal. They never crack in the frost until your tree's into like a really show ready state. There's no point having a fancy pot out in the elements risking cracking it and stuff so I like using plastic training pots to start off trees because they look fairly good but uh, you don't have problems with them breaking or anything so let's get the tree in the pot um, the first thing we want to do is pick the front of the tree now I know in a round pot it doesn't really matter you can rotate the pot around but uh, we still kind of want to pick the front of the tree for styling purposes and we've got our major apex line goes forward here and we've got some deadwood features on the tree here so that was the original front here and I think we're going to keep that for now so the next thing we want to put the tree in the pot I've got my soil layer in and we want to pick an angle and a height for the tree so we're just gonna place it in there for now and look at the height so right now we're quite high above the lip of the pot so we we'll want to get down a little lower it's still a little high Now 
and we're just going to put the tree in the center of the pot. That height looks pretty good there. So we don't really have to worry about, you know, the rotation of the tree. Uh, because we can turn the pot to get any front we want. So the main thing is to get the height. And that looks pretty good. Our surface roots are just starting to flare out at the soil level. Um, we could have it a little higher, show a little more surface roots, but uh, I, I don't think at this stage it's that important. I think this is a good soil line. All our new roots around the surface will be in the soil. And before we add our soil, we're just going to do a final comb out of the surface roots. Make sure they're all going the right direction. The roots fill the pot nicely. There's room for them to grow still. Okay, we can start adding our soil. And this is just my standard soil mix. And then we're going to start working the soil into the roots. So you just need a, you can use a chopstick. I always use the pointy end of this root rake. You can do little circular motions. And the soil flows in around the roots. The sun's trying to come out today. It's kind of nice. <laughs> I always like sunshine. And the tree's sitting in there fairly stable now. I'm just going to work the soil in a bit more. So our soil level's at a good height. It's just below the lip of the pot, which is nice. Okay, and we're gonna give the tree a watering next. Okay, let's give the tree some water. Willows love water. And it's running out the drainage holes now. Nice and clear. So the next thing we wanna do is give the willow its first pruning for the year. Uh, some of the top shoots are growing with quite a bit of vigor. Uh, some of the lower shoots here are a little less vigorous. So we want to equalize the balance in the tree. If you let these top shoots grow, all your bottom foliage will die off. It'll get shaded out. The vigor will go to those branches that are really vigorous. And they'll just continue to get stronger and the rest of the branches will get weaker. So. Willows, it's very important to balance the vigor always with them if you want to keep your tree miniature. If you're in a growing stage of the willow, just let it go. It'll thicken up, it'll grow like crazy. Let's do some top pruning to this tree now. So here we go. We're going to prune our strongest shoots first. And you can directional prune. So if you want the branch to grow downwards, you prune to a downwards facing leaf, just ahead of a downward facing leaf. If you want it to go, go off to the side, you prune to a leaf that's pointing in that direction. Here's a strong branch. I'll take it right down to here, some outward facing leaves. Prune some of the tips off here. If you don't prune your willow, the leaves will get large, your internodes will get large. So if you want to keep your tree small and compact, you've got to prune, you've got to prune it regularly. And a lot of these I'm just taking the tips off them. to get some subdividing on the branches. Any branches that are overlapping others, you want to either remove them or clean them out. Otherwise, you'll be shading out branches and they'll die off. Some of the lower branches we're going to not touch. We want to get more vigor in those, less in our upper ones. So we prune the top of the tree harder and the bottom less. That looks pretty good. We've pruned our lower, weaker branches less. The upper branches that are really strong, we've pruned them back harder. The next stage, we're going to put some moss on the tree. So 
So I'll keep putting the moss on and we'll come back when it's all done. Okay, so I finished putting the moss on top. We're just gonna go in now and clean it up. So we're gonna pick out these pieces of white vermiculite that show on the surface. We don't wanna be seeing that. And the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and give the moss a pruning. It's getting a little long and toughy looking. So if we prune it down, it gives the moss a more of a miniature look. It uh, makes the tree look larger. So we'll come back when the moss is all pruned up. Okay, so we've got the moss all pruned up and tidied up. Um, I'm also gonna show you the cutting that we took last year of the giant old weeping willow. See how it's doing. So I put it on the bench beside us here. So it's growing well. I've got uh, quite a few strong shoots at the base of the tree there that I'm gonna let grow and thicken it up at the base. Um, some of the branches we had last year, there was a thick one here, an original branch that we cut off. It died back, but there's new shoots everywhere on it. So I'm not gonna prune it up yet. I'm gonna wait till it grows a little more and then we'll give it its kind of first real styling. So we'll go in and have a final look at our weeping willow bonsai. Crown of the tree. So that's it for today. Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai. We'll see you next time.